Hey there! How are you? You see, people try and use the DMCA to try and shut up their critics. They false flag as well. They might use a combination of the two to try and shut people down permanently. They'll hunt them down and when they find their new channel, they'll do the same shit. Not because they are talking about them anymore, but because they really hate that person and sooner or later that person may just come back and do something. They may say something. Well, fuck you. How many cults out there, how many moronic conspiracy theorists or biblical prophets or whatever you decide to call yourself or be, decide to false flag, false DMCA and troll people, spread slander or dock drop people and why? Because you don't have the balls to admit when you're wrong. Wake up and smell the coffee, guy! Or rather than guy, perhaps a lady. But whomsoever. If you have a problem with someone for some cockamamie reason, then state it. Say it. Don't just simply try and silence people who own you. People who expose you. People who show you to be exactly what you fucking well are. That's cowardice. It's weak ass bullshit. Okay? Do you understand? Is this processing? Hmm? I don't know. Makes you wonder what's going on with people. Yes. Yes, that's, that's basically turned off the Illuminati mind control chip in your brain, so now you can actually listen to me. Oh yes. Now, basically, you have the power to change YouTube. And how? By fighting the bullshitters. By never giving in. By standing up against the bastards and never surrendering. Never. Why surrender? You want to surrender? Oh, run off! Surrender? I don't think so. You may get knocked down. You may get knocked out. You may have to start all over again. And if your game is ponage, pure ownage, as they say, then surely you must have a channel for that. If your game is simply to own people, Set up a channel to own people and do lots of work. You know, this fair use thing as well, people DMCA, they don't care about fair use. Oh, fair use. Oh, it's not fair use. Ooh, blah, 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 blah. YouTube has a level of, well, usage in its license when you upload to YouTube. You see, when you upload to YouTube, your copyrights become suddenly a lot more limited. You upload a video, just you talking to the camera, someone takes that video and rebukes you. And you don't like that, and you decide to file a DMCA, well, guess what? It's covered by fair use, even if they use the whole video, technically speaking. Because YouTube is a video sharing site. People can reproduce, reuse, edit, and fair use does cover you for parody, criticism, education, and a multitude of other elements which allow you to use that material. Are we clear? Hope so. But basically, people who carry out these actions, the false flags, the false DMCAs, they are cowards. Pure and simple. Pure and simple cowards. How else can you explain the way in which they act? How else can you explain the things they do? 
You do a video, like in my case I did a video about Osho, and what should happen? I get a DMCA, and I do a video saying why I got the DMCA, I show the same image, I get DMCA'd again. But hang on, it was only an image. It was an image freely available. It's even here on YouTube. And that video has been mirrored time and time again. I thank all of those people because they have done some good. But let's face it, the reason why I got DMCA was not because I used a single image of Osho. No, it was because I was being critical of cult leaders. And in my video about the DMCA, I addressed that issue to some degree. So let's be honest about it, folks. The reason why people use the DMCA, more often than not, when it comes down to debates and particular points, when they're simply using images and small video uh, clips and sound bites, is because they cannot stand criticism. It has fuck all to do with the copyright claim. They're just using that as an excuse. They're not going to take you to court. Uh, by the way, if you do try and use Fox material or Paramount or whichever material from whichever corporation, that's not quite the same thing. Okay, if it's from an individual, or it's from a group, or if it's something which is so limited, like a single image, a few seconds of video footage, or audio, then that is perfectly covered by fair usage. So, use away. Admittedly, some things do have a certain amount of greater protection, as with certain music and, of course, videos, films and so on and so forth. You know, films and clips and such, that belongs to someone. It is their work. But if it's just simply a blog, something really simple, mediocre, then how the fuck can they claim they have exclusive rights to that work? You know, it's been Osho with me, he died in like 1990 for fuck's sake. I'm being DMCA'd by the fucking dead. I can't tell if I'm meant to be a joker or a fucking zombie. My makeup's terrible. But basically, these people filing DMCAs, they're pussies.